Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to join us in today's Tips and Tricks video. So folks, um, after you've made your uh, purchase of the sequence uh, that you'd like and you're ready to begin importing it into your layout, there is a few steps that you need to take. First of all, in the previous video, you've already seen how to download and where to save it. What we're gonna do next is we're going to open up that sequence in from your layout we're going to open it up render it in our layout the pro or the original layout and then render and save it and very very easily we'll go ahead and get started on that so uh, now I've already taken the time to um, extract the uh, sequence. I, I, uh, in order to extract the sequence, all you need to do is select the sequence that you have uh, downloaded and you've placed uh, into your import folder that you put inside your XLights layout directory. So make sure that this is your home XLights directory. Put uh, create an import folder here and then what you want to do is you want to select the sequence you want to unpackage or extract and click the extract button up here at the top now if you're on a Mac I don't know how you would do this I'm sure it's just a right click or something uh, but extract all and then just leave this as as default um, we'll go ahead and extract it only takes a second and next, what XLights does is, or uh, what Windows does, I'm sorry, is uh, it creates an identical folder name that uh, matches exactly what the zip folder name is. Now, uh, we're going to open and render uh, the Train Shake Up Christmas sequence. And to do this, let's go ahead, let me bring up my um, XLights here. There we go, we have our XLights layout here. Uh, this would be uh, an example of, a, of, of your home uh, layout. Let's go ahead and once you've opened up XLights and you're in your layout, go ahead and click on the controllers tab. And then we're going to use this new function called change temporarily. Now what change temporarily does is allows us to go from our show directory into, uh, let's say, our import directory. So we're in our XLights layout right here. Let's navigate to our import directory and let's go ahead and select the Train Shakeup Christmas Pro layout. You could do this with whatever sequence that you've downloaded and extracted from the first step that we just showed you. And we'll go ahead and click, uh, we'll double click on here. Now we'll get into what's called the Pro layout. If we were importing from the original layout, it would say original layout right here. So let's go back. We'll do the we'll do this one here. Pro layout. Once you get into this layer here, double click on that and just click se click select folder. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save my models here because I'm switching out of my layout. And you can see that we now have a different color up here for a file uh, extension, and it's yellow. And that signifies that we're not in your home layout anymore. We're actually temporarily inside the pro layout or wherever you've redirected to. So you can see here that this is the uh, PPD pro layout. And uh, the next step to uh, easily set up the sequence for importing into your layout is to click uh, open sequence. We'll click uh, train shake up Christmas pro layout and every once in a while you'll probably have this pop up. Um, I'll close that. You'll probably have this window pop up here. And whenever it does, it might be saying, please find the audio file. Now I'm doing this on my computer, so it's finding the audio file. But you will have to, whenever you download the PPD sequence, uh, whenever you select the sequence uh, that you're going to be um, downloading, you want to make sure that you download the music here because the audio does not come with it. So you'll want to go uh, get the music and make sure you uh, download the music. And then you'll place that music. You want to put that into your XLights directory, obviously. That's a good thing to do. And then point to it. You just click here and you'll select the music from your music list and then click done. So once that's done, now we're into the actual pro layout. You can see here's the pro layout and all we have to do, this is all we have to do once it's open and once it has the audio file attached to it, all we have to do is click the render button and this will probably take a few moments. 
And now that we have finished rendering the sequence, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to click Save. Save is the most important step here, and the reason for that is it saved all of, uh, all of the uh, sequence file locations from the PPD computer to your home computer. And that means that if we hit the uh, play sequence, let's go ahead and bring up that house preview. Where did that go? If we uh, bring up the house preview um, and hit the play button, you should see it's Christmas time. You should see uh, there were little images and so forth. All your images should work. Your shader files should work. Your your uh, video files all should work. So whatever is in the sequence, it will be mapped now to your computer. But that's so important that you open up, save, and uh, render, and then save the sequence. Now that we are done, uh, the, the hard part of... Uh, uh, transposing the sequence from the pro layout now uh, is is rather simple we're just going to come back here and click restore to permanent and magically uh, if you want to save the network you can uh, magically it brings us right back into our home layout and you haven't had to change directories and do a lot of maneuvering so folks that's going to wrap it up for this video this has been uh, a wonderful addition into x lights a huge shout out to uh, keith for adding in change temporarily to the x lights controllers tab because this hopefully will remove some confusion from changing from one directory to another and allow you to import any sequence into your show and of course you're obviously going to have to render it into the original uh, layouts directory so it's good to get yourself set up with the uh, as I showed pr previously on the other video how to get set up with it so folks thanks for joining us if you like this video make sure you hit the like button if you love the video share it with your friends make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications we also have an awesome pixel pro university facebook group community that you should totally join if you have any questions more more than willing to jump in and have the team give you a hand with all of the challenges that you might be facing whenever you're doing your setup layout and and build and so forth so Folks, thank you for watching today. This is Clyde signing out, and we'll see you in the next video.